I will tell you, make sure that you submit yourself to Christ. Because Christ never forced or beat anybody to follow him. Right? And he never calls his followers to do that either. So when you ladies see these verses together and you see this word fear, this fear is respect. In the end, as a man, what is it that we want from our wives? We want to know that you respect us. Amen. What is the quickest way that you cut us to the quick? Is when you don't respect us. When you show us through your words, through your actions, that you have no respect for what we do or how we do it. If you're the kind of woman that wants to be in charge, to tell your husband how he should be doing everything, then you need to submit to his authority. You need to show him the respect that he deserves. Now, I'm not sure which one is harder, this one or this one. Let's look at verse 3. Do not let your adornment be merely outward. That word merely, again, is supply words. So do not let your adornment be outward, arranging the hair, wearing gold, or putting on apparel. Verse 4, rather, let it be the hidden person of the heart with the incorruptible beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit. From my experience, those who have trouble with these two sets of verses, Get stuck right here. And right here. And they fail to go here. What is it that God is looking for? God is looking for what is on the inside. In our culture today, ladies, <coughs> you are judged by your outward appearance. The world tells you, you need to look this way, you need to dress this way. If you do this, then you'll be accepted, then the world will love you. God is saying, I love you, not because of what you put on the outside, but I love you because of what's on the inside. And let me tell you, when it comes to a man interacting with a woman, it may be your looks at first attract him, but in the end, it's going to be your personality that's going to keep him. The Bible says that beauty is what? Fleeting. It's fleeting. It's temporary. It doesn't last. <clears throat> Same thing with guys. Ladies, if you're attracted just to the outward appearance, it doesn't last. It's what's on the inside that counts. And so again, this counsel is both for men and women. Let's look at it again. Verse 4, rather let it be the hidden person of the heart with the incorruptible beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is very precious in the sight of God. For in this manner, in former times, the holy women who trusted in God also adorned themselves, being submissive to their own husbands. As Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord, whose daughters you are if you do good and are not afraid with any terror. And that is the counsel for women. Now, have you ever thought about that last couple of words for women? As Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord, whose daughters you are if you do good, and here you go, are not, what? With any terror. What do you why do you think Peter put that in there? Any ideas? The Bible tells you, number one, to be anxious for what? <laughs> to be anxious for nothing. What's another word for anxious in that context? <coughs> Fear. Afraid. Be anxious for nothing. 
Now, how many of you guys have a problem with being anxious? Raise your hand. Raise them up high so everybody can see. Okay? The Bible tells you to be anxious for nothing, but in all things through prayer, supplication, and thanksgiving. If you are afraid and it becomes a terror to you, what that has done now is put that terror in the place of where God should be. Do you guys understand that? You now do not trust God to save you from whatever that anxiety or terror is. Right? Amen. And this is why Peter writes this. And you can find the same counsel to men. And that is, do not allow the things in this world, the things you are facing, to terrorize you so much that you lose your faith and trust in God. God will bring you through it. Amen. It may not be the way you want, but in the end, He has the power to bring you through it. Amen. So that is the last part of the speaking to the women. Okay? Um... And then it starts to go into the council to men. And we will pick that up next week. Alright? Our closing hymn this morning is hymn number 142.